Hey guys, Chris here from TD Motion. I got a couple more Coyote engines here today. One is the Gen 2, one is the Gen 3. So as far as similarities go, they fit identically into a car or a truck or vehicle as far as the engine mount goes, the bell housing patterns go. So the first one here that we talk about is the Gen 2. This was made from 2015 through 17 years. Uh, has some good stuff in there. Forge crank, forge connecting rods, has the hyperutectic pistons, uh, the vacuum control valves, which help with low idle speed, uh, with emissions, and this one has the full pulley kit on there. We're selling this to a customer, actually with a uh, F100 truck, has the, the AC, the power steering, the alternator all in place, 80 millimeter throttle body, so great setup. Uh, works with the six speeds automatic, the four speeds automatic, or any manual transmission as long as you have the right control pack. So let's go over to the three, uh, over to the Gen 3 here. The Gen 3, well, it has this big fancy plenum up, cover up on top. So let's just pull that off and show you about some of the differences from the Gen 2. So for one, this puts out 460 horsepower about 420 pounds of torque, and that's 7,500 RPMs red line. The reason why it's a little higher on the red, red line is because it has stiffer valve springs, so they re-engineered the heads, so higher flowing heads on there, higher flowing uh, intake manifold. What makes this different from the Gen 2 is this is both port fuel injection and direct fuel injection. So it directs the fuel directly into the cylinders, which allows for higher compression. So this engine, the Gen 3, has 12 to 1 compression versus the 11 to 1 compression on the other one. Has the, uh, the control valves on the back of it, just like the other one. Um, I think the a balancer on here too is a, is a heavier duty balancer, so it can turn higher, higher RPMs with the vicious damper on there too. As far as all the mounting locations, they're identical between the two of them. And basically, that's a nutshell between the differences between two. This Gen 3 will be able to accept the 10R ADW transmission, so the 10 speed, the Gen 2 will not. The Gen 2 can only, they only have that from Ford Racing with the control pack for the six speed or four speed automatic. So this one, you can work with the 10 speed or of course, use the manual transmission setup on there. So all in all, that 